one of the band What you see is what you really need in the end But what you ever gonna go do, I don't know This is gonna be a dramatic week in K-Rock Boys and Boys Not really This week, we're talking about Bathrooms Um My first bathroom experience Was either at the store But I'm pretty sure For sure, like one that I can remember was on my trip down to Madison to go see Tegan and Sarah in May. I was getting nervous uh, going into the bathroom. I never use the women's bathroom though. I don't. I get really nervous using the men's bathroom, especially when there are a lot of guys, because I don't. I don't use my STP yet uh, in public for fear of kissing my pants. Um, but I'm working on it. Uh, to make sure I can, yeah, I can do it. So, like, I've been using the men's bathroom for almost a year. I used the women's bathroom once, within that time period, maybe twice. Once I got an old lady staring at me, and the other time was at the airport. When choosing bathrooms, if you're really feminine, you're gonna want to be really careful using the bathroom, because if you do go into the men's bathroom, chances are you're gonna get some awkward looks. And that's the breaking point too. But the nice thing about men's bathroom, unlike women's bathroom, is people don't really look at you, don't make eye contact. Especially guys using the urinals, they keep their eyes down. There's not really too much to worry about. Um, I know if you live in big cities, you got gender neutral bathrooms, which is really, really nice. I have never seen one, aside from ones that we have made for, you know, queer purposes. I get nervous all the time. Um, because I don't always pass. Um, but if you go in there and you're not like and you're not like worried about it, I can tell you there have been times when I have stopped in front of the bathroom um, because I'm like, oh, crap, I don't know which one to go into. If you don't do that, if you just go straight in, um, you know, and you look like you belong there, the chances are you're fine. The problem is when you are like in a single stall bathroom, like there's one urinal and like one stall, and then like someone's in the stall and you don't have an STP and you're like I don't want to wait for this whatever you gotta do it anyways so my advice is uh if you're comfortable enough with passing um go for the men's bathroom um go in with an intention uh look like you belong there because you do belong there um if you're too nervous about it if you're too afraid don't do it don't feel like you have to do it because it'll happen one day if you are at a really awkward point like you're like too feminine to be a man but you're way too masculine to be a woman you know like using those bathrooms uh, look for a gender neutral bathroom otherwise just do whatever one you feel comfortable with if you don't feel comfortable with either flip a coin but like bathrooms are scary bathrooms are a very scary place because they're they leave you feeling very vulnerable um so you just gotta you know, kind of take it in steps. Uh, but as for questions, Josh, you asked if we wear water shoes or not. Um, no. <laughs> no? Lake Superior. So I go swimming all the time. I never use water shoes. So, no, Josh, never. I don't ever. Morgan, um, <laughs> Morgan, if I could switch, if I could live as a celebrity, any celebrity for one day, who would it be? I want to be Connor Oberst. That's what I want to be for a day, Connor Oberst. Um, and my question for this week, Morgan, because <laughs> I want to answer this question. Um, do you have any scars? If so, where'd you get them? I have got a lot of scars. I got one on like like right under my butt, on my the back of my thigh, from when I fell on a rusty nail when I was like seven. No, I was like ten ish. Um, I got one underneath my knee, um, from when I slipped and fell on a culvert and, like, got a gash in it. Uh, I got one on my thumb, I have no idea where it's from. I got one on my hand, you probably can't see it. That's from fifth grade. I took my friend's basketball and I was getting it back to her and she, like, just, ah, and she just ripped the skin out of my hand. I got one on my arm because I was playing with scissors and I cut myself. And I just got random scars all over. So, those are some fun ones. 
Anyways, kiddos, uh, see you next week. AD is eating that fluffernutter stuff, and that's like marshmallows, but <laughs>